Imagine feeling a sudden, excruciating pain that brings you to your knees. That's what kidney stones can do. Join me today as we explore the fascinating world of kidney stones, uncovering their surprising causes. The different types that can form within your body, and the telltale symptoms that you should never ignore. Get ready to discover why these tiny mineral deposits can pack such a big punch. Welcome to Medicatives. This is the official YouTube channel of www.medicatives.com. We believe that awareness is everything and our goal is to promote it. Kidney stones, causes. Kidney stones are solid deposits that form in the kidneys. They can be caused by several factors, including dehydration. Insufficient fluid intake can lead to concentrated urine, which increases the risk of stone formation. Certain diets. Consuming a diet high in salt, sugar, or animal protein and low in fiber can contribute to the development of kidney stones. Family history. If you have a family history of kidney stones, you may be more prone to developing them yourself. Certain medical conditions. Conditions such as urinary tract infections, cystic kidney diseases, and hyperparathyroidism can increase the risk of kidney stone formation. Obesity. Being overweight or obese can increase the likelihood of developing kidney stones. Certain medications. Some medications, such as diuretics, antacids containing calcium, and certain antibiotics, can increase the risk of kidney stone formation. Urinary tract abnormalities. Structural abnormalities in the urinary tract, such as narrow passages or abnormal shapes of the kidneys, can create an environment that promotes stone formation. Metabolic disorders. Conditions like hypercalcemia, high levels of calcium in the urine, hyperoxaluria, high levels of oxalate in the urine, or hyperurocosuria, high levels of uric acid in the urine, can contribute to kidney stone formation. It's important to note that the exact cause of kidney stones can vary from person to person, and often multiple factors can contribute to their formation. If you suspect you have kidney stones or are concerned about your risk factors, it's advisable to consult a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Kidney Stones Types After diving into the causes behind kidney stones, let's take a closer look at the different types that can wreak havoc on your urinary system. From the commonly encountered calcium stones to the lesser-known uric acid and struvite stones, We'll unravel the distinct characteristics of each type, shedding light on their formation and potential complications. Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery behind these formidable foes, equipping you with the knowledge to recognize and address them effectively. Calcium oxalate stones. These are the most common type of kidney stones, accounting for approximately 80% of cases. They form when calcium combines with oxalate in the urine. Oxalate is naturally found in many foods, and high levels of it in the urine can increase the risk of calcium oxalate stone formation. Calcium phosphate stones. These stones also contain calcium but in combination with phosphate instead of oxalate. They are less common than calcium oxalate stones and often form in alkaline urine. Uric acid stones. Uric acid stones form when there are high levels of uric acid in the urine. They can be associated with conditions such as gout, which leads to increased production of uric acid, or a diet high in purines. Uric acid stones can be more common in individuals with acidic urine. Struvite stones. Struvite stones, also known as infection stones, are associated with urinary tract infections caused by certain bacteria. These stones can grow rapidly and can become quite large, filling the renal pelvis and even extending into the ureter. They are composed of magnesium, ammonium, and phosphate. Cysteine stones. Cysteine stones are rare and are caused by a genetic disorder called cystinuria. People with cystinuria have an impaired reabsorption of cysteine, an amino acid, in the kidneys, leading to its excessive presence in the urine and the formation of stones. It's important to note that some kidney stones may have a mixed composition, combining elements of different types. The type of stone can influence treatment options and preventive measures, so it is essential to identify the stone type through laboratory analysis or imaging studies. A healthcare professional can determine the type of kidney stone and recommend appropriate treatment and preventive strategies based on the individual's condition. Kidney Stones, Symptoms 
Now that we've explored the various types of kidney stones, it's crucial to understand the warning signs your body may send when these little troublemakers decide to make their presence known. From sharp and intense lower back pain to frequent urination accompanied by blood in your urine, the symptoms of kidney stones can be both distressing and alarming. Join me as we uncover these red flags, empowering you to identify and address them promptly, potentially saving yourself from hours of agony and discomfort. Severe pain. One of the hallmark symptoms of kidney stones is intense pain, often referred to as renal colic. The pain usually starts suddenly and can be excruciating. It typically originates in the back or side below the ribs and may radiate to the lower abdomen and groin. The pain can come in waves and may fluctuate in intensity. Hematuria. Blood in the urine, known as hematuria, is a common symptom of kidney stones. The urine may appear pink, red, or brownish in color. The presence of blood can be intermittent and may not always be visible to the naked eye. Urinary frequency and urgency. Kidney stones can irritate the lining of the urinary tract, leading to increased frequency of urination. You may feel the need to urinate more frequently and with a sense of urgency. Painful urination. Passing urine when you have kidney stones can cause pain or a burning sensation. This discomfort is typically felt in the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of the body. Cloudy or foul-smelling urine. Kidney stones can sometimes cause changes in urine appearance and odor. The urine may appear cloudy or have an unpleasant smell. Nausea and vomiting. In some cases, kidney stones can cause nausea and vomiting. This can be due to the severe pain or the body's response to the stone's presence. Fever and chills. If a kidney stone causes a urinary tract infection UTI, additional symptoms such as fever, chills, and general malaise may occur. It's important to note that not all individuals with kidney stones will experience symptoms. Some stones may be asymptomatic and discovered incidentally during imaging studies for other reasons. If you suspect you have kidney stones or are experiencing any of the symptoms mentioned above, it's crucial to seek medical attention for proper diagnosis and appropriate management. As we conclude this eye-opening journey into the world of kidney stones, our exploration wouldn't be complete without delving into the available treatment options. Join me in the next video as we uncover the medical interventions, from extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy to surgical procedures, that can help you bid farewell to these stubborn stones. We'll also debunk some common myths surrounding kidney stone treatment and explore the realm of home remedies that may offer relief. Get ready to take charge of your kidney health and embark on the next chapter of this informative series. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website www.medicatives.com. You may like our free ebooks and medical and health educational products on our website. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting, and pressing the bell icon to receive notifications for more content like this. Lastly, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.